All right, so hear me out on this one. This laptop has a 14 inch 2.8K 90 Hertz OLED display with the Ryzen 7 5800H CPU and the RTX 3050 from Nvidia. It's got audio by Harman Kardon. It's only 1.4 kgs and it lasts up to six hours on battery life. If you ask me what was the MacBook Pro 14 inch alternative on the Windows side, this is the laptop I would point at. This is the Asus ViewBook Pro 14 OLED. For $1,000 or 89,900 rupees in India, this laptop offers a lot. And in this video, it's gonna be a one-stop shop for everything you need to know about this laptop. This is my full review, let's check it out. Before we start the video, like always, this laptop was given to me by Karthik Laptop World, so do check them out. Their details will be in the description down below, so their address, phone number, WhatsApp, and Google Maps location will all be there down below. Check out Karthik Laptop World for the latest laptop deals, the best prices, and also the best service. And with that being said, let's get started. So starting off the unboxing of the ASUS VivoBook Pro 14 OLED, on top, you get the laptop itself, well protected. Next, there are some user manuals and a quick start guide and also a packet that has a bunch of cool looking creative stickers. And just knowing the fact that this laptop is geared towards creative professionals, so your video creators, your photographers, it's a really nice touch and it's appreciated. And you also have your 120 watt power adapter with the charging cable. So that's the unboxing experience. Now let's talk about the laptop itself. And starting off with its main highlight feature, that display. It's a 14 inch, 2.8K 90Hz OLED and the resolution being 2818 to 1800 and it's a 16 by 10 display so you've got some extra vertical space you know and that's helpful in browsing all your browsers have extra vertical content so you can make use of that there and all your creative softwares can also make use of that extra vertical space and it's got 600 nits of max brightness so outdoor visibility is also pretty good and it, there is an anti-glare panel but there is going to be reflection on it it is a glossy display so just be careful when you're outdoors or even indoors if there's a you know big light source behind Behind you the reflection can be a little annoying but the contrast ratio on this one is one million is to one so you've got those deep blacks so color representation brightness sharpness of the display itself everything is off the charts it's a really good display and i can comfortably say that this is the best display i've ever tried on any laptop period and it's really good whether you're playing games you know watching movies consuming content even editing videos and photos is a treat on this one. And that display is powered by some really good hardware. Underneath the ASUS VivoBook Pro 14 OLED is the Ryzen 7 5800H CPU with eight cores and 16 threads with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost of 4.4, 20 megabytes of total cache, and it is a 45 watt TDP CPU. So you're getting some really good performance and you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 3200 megahertz on the clock speed. And these are two eight gigabyte sticks because Ryzen loves dual channel performance. You've got a 512 gigabyte PCI-3 SSD, this is the NVMe drive, so it's quite fast. I would have loved it to be, you know, PCI 4.0 because you get better speeds. And you've also got the NVIDIA RTX 3050 graphics card with four gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. This is a 35 watt TDP GPU, but with dynamic boost, you can get up to 50 watts. So that's pretty good. And the GPU is gonna be helpful in gaming, especially as well as video editing and photo editing. Any program that can use that GPU to accelerate performance, you know, 3D rendering programs, modeling, and designing programs, all of that can use it. And you also have the AMD Radeon graphics, which come on board with the CPU. So depending upon the task, the laptop will decide automatically which GPU to use, but you can also manually decide which GPU you wanna use for which application. So that's a really good you know, thing. And talking about managing things, this laptop does support ASUS's Pro Creator Hub software. So that's their Pro Art Creator Hub. And it has a lot of things. You can change the fan speed, the color calibration of the display itself and check the performance, check the storage, basically monitoring and customizing the laptop itself. It does not support ASUS's Armory Create software, which is geared towards their gaming laptops. So just know that. And you've also got a 63 watt hour lithium ion battery and battery life, we'll get to it later on in the video. But now let's do a quick overview of the ports on this laptop. 
Starting off on the right side, you've got your charging port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port, a HDMI 1.4, a USB Type C 3.2 Gen 1 port, and a micro SD card slot and a headphone jack slot. This will also support your microphones, so it's a combo jack. And you've also got on the left side two USB 2.0 Type A ports. Now, this is kind of weird. You know, the port selection itself, in my opinion, is kind of weird. First up, ASUS is gearing this VivoBook Pro 14 OLED towards creators, and I Personally, being a content creator myself, doing YouTube videos for about six years now, have never used a micro SD card slot. All cameras, all creative equipment uses a full-size SD card slot, and there is enough space, ASUS, on the right side of this laptop to include a full-size SD card slot, which is kind of weird. And also, in 2022, why are we including USB 2.0 ports on a laptop? That's really weird. The HDMI is only 1.4, it could have been 2.0, and the USB Type-C does not have any sort of Thunderbolt support because it's an AMD laptop. So the port selection is kind of weird. There's enough ports, I guess, but they're not the right ones. But again, I think it's not gonna be a huge deal breaker. And also, just know you don't have a full-size ethernet slot on this one, so you will have to rely on the Wi-Fi 6 that's inbuilt on this laptop most of the times. And you've also got Bluetooth 5.0 in terms of your connectivity. Now talking about design and build quality, it's a really nice looking laptop. It's very aesthetically pleasing to look at and it's available in two colors. You've got cool silver and quiet blue. And this is quiet blue. So it's a really nice looking laptop. You've got this you know, Chevron finished logo that says ASUS VivoBook. And this is really nice. The top part is metal and the rest of the laptop is plastic, but it's some really nice quality plastic. And it's 1.4 kgs in terms of the weight and 1.9 centimeters in terms of the thickness. So it's not that heavy. It's not the thinnest laptop out there, but overall the build and design is really good. Inside the laptop, you've got you know, little to no keyboard flex, and the screen flex is also pretty minimum, in my opinion. And the hinge on this laptop is really good. It's really nice, it's very high quality, it's a metallic hinge, and you can actually open this laptop one-handed. And this is for the version with the graphics card. Other versions might not be able to be opened one-handed. I've seen some videos on YouTube, but this exact version that I have right now, can be comfortably opened one hand, no problem at all. Now talking about the inside of the laptop, you've got your keyboard and trackpad. Now this being a 14 inch compact laptop, you've got a chiclet style keyboard without a number pad. It is backlit and you've got 1.35 millimeters of key travel. And this keyboard in my opinion is actually pretty good. Does remind me of the MacBook Air, I'm sorry, but I had to say it. And it's a really nice keyboard. You've got dedicated arrow keys and also these you know, stripes on the enter key kind of add this personal creative touch to this keyboard. And the backlighting is good. You can see it you know, in the nighttime when it's dark, you can see all the keys properly. The top row again has a bunch of functions, your volume controls, media controls, bunch of shortcuts. And using the FN key, you can access the normal F1 to F12 buttons and the trackpad. This is a special one. It's big, it's glass, it's a really nice trackpad. It's buttery smooth, all the gestures, the tracking is really accurate. And the best part is that you have this really cool numeric keypad lighting up when you want to use it. And trust me, that's really cool. You know, I was kind of sad not having the number pad on this laptop, but once I realized that this is the number pad, it was really nice. And also, forgot mentioning in the start of the video, the bezels around the laptop are really thin. So again, that just makes the experience more immersive when you're watching movies and playing games and stuff like that. And you also have a microphone array, an indication light, and a 720p webcam on top with privacy shutter. Again, a really nice touch. So let's say you're not using the webcam, close the privacy shutter and the webcam won't see anything. And if you wanna know how this webcam looks and sounds, here's a quick webcam test for you guys. All right, so this is a quick webcam test of the ASUS VivoBook Pro 14 OLED. And this is how the webcam sounds and looks. You guys will get a feel for the audio quality as well as the video quality. I really like the audio on this one. It's really crisp, takes out all the background noise. And the video quality is also half decent. So this is how your you know, Zoom meetings and online classes are gonna look like. So if you're using it for school or work, the audio is gonna be good. And I think the video you can make do with. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed this test. Let's move on to the rest of the review. All right, so that's the webcam test. Now let's talk about the media experience. We've been talking about the display, but what about the speakers? This laptop has audio by Harman Kardon. So the speakers are technically tuned by this great audio company. So how do they sound? Here's a speaker test and then we'll talk. 
So the speakers aren't the greatest. I've heard better speakers on laptops that are cheaper than this one. Just putting the Harman Kardon brand on your laptop makes the reviewer or the user expect so much. And I was kind of disappointed, kind of underwhelmed when, you know, when I actually tried it. These are not bad speakers, but I expected, you know, so much more. The bass is good. The volume could have been louder. And yeah, the clarity and everything is fine. So when you're watching movies and videos by yourself, it'll be fine, but otherwise, just use headphones. All right, now let's talk about the software experience. You do get Windows 11 out of the box and Windows 11 works without any problems on this laptop. It's really fast, really smooth. Boot time is pretty crazy. As I said, 13.5 seconds. And you do get a bunch of bloatware from Asus as well as some you know, McAfee antivirus and browse safe software. Just remove that, get rid of it. It's just slowing your laptop down at startup. The useful software is the Procreator Hub and the My Asus app. Other than that, you can get rid of anything else that you find and the software experience is good. Now let's talk about battery life on this laptop. You've got a 63 watt hour lithium ion battery. The battery life itself is pretty good because it's an OLED display and it's very power efficient, but the charging is really slow. It takes two hours and 20 minutes to charge this laptop and the first 50% happens in about half an hour, 45 minutes. So it does take a lot of time to charge, but I'm happy to report that the battery life on the Asus Wavebook Pro 14 OLED is good. Six hours, up to six hours on normal use if your brightness is at 50%. And yes, this display is a really bright one, so 50% brightness is pretty good. And you could be doing you know, productivity stuff, browsing the net, email, office, work, cool stuff, and you'll get that up to five to six hours of battery life. If you're doing you know, any intensive tasks like gaming, video editing, and pushing the laptop, the, you're using the graphics card, the NVIDIA one, then you'll get about two to three hours. But again, that's pretty good in my opinion. 4K video editing and two hours of battery life is a good combo in my opinion. Talking about 4K video editing, let's talk about performance and how this laptop performs. I tried you know, editing raw photos as well as raw 6K videos without any you know, conversion on this laptop and it was able to do it. So 1080p and 4K video editing is no problem. You can do it with a breeze in softwares like Vegas, Premiere Pro, as well as DaVinci Resolve. Whatever your software of choice, you can do it. After Effects, Maya, Cinema 4D, whatever software that you use for your work will work on it, no problem. I used you know, Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop to edit raw photos and videos and it's pretty good. I edited a 1080p video out of my Canon 80D, five minute, 30 seconds video, and it was rendered in a minute 30. That is pretty good. Even my PC is not that fast. So the Ryzen you know, 750-800H has some really good multi-threading performance. Let's talk about gaming because yes, you have a CPU and a GPU. So how's the gaming experience? Of course, people would love to game on 2.8K 90 Hertz OLED display. And gaming experience is pretty good. It comes with NVIDIA Studio drivers, which do accelerate creative tasks. But again, you can play games. I tried Valorant and at 1080p max settings, I got some really good frame rates and the results are on your screen. Average FPS was about 200, really good experience. Now with great performance comes heat. And how does the ASUS Wavebook Pro 14 OLED handle its thermals? And I'd say it handles it really well. There's a dual fan system with iSchool Plus technology from ASUS. A cringy name, but it does a really good job of you know, keeping this laptop cool and stable. There is no thermal throttling. Let's talk about the CPU temps first. The Ryzen 7 5800H CPU inside this one has an idle temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius and a max load when I ran a Prime 95 stress test with small workers it went up to 95 degrees Celsius. And in gaming load or video editing load or just, you know, under load conditions, you do get a temperature about 80 to 85 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good. The fan is audible when you're really pushing the laptop, but as I said, using their Procreator Hub software, you can change the speed of the fan. You can put it to whisper mode if you wanted to, if you really don't want to hear it. And there's also a performance mode, depending upon what you're doing on the laptop. Now talking about the temperatures on the RTX 3050, you've got an idle of 45, a low temperature of about 65 degrees Celsius, and the max that you're gonna see this laptop's GPU go is about 72 degrees Celsius. And again, no thermal throttling, and I feel like they've done a really good job on the thermals. All right, so that's a lot of info in one video, but now conclusion time. Should you buy the ASUS VivoBook Pro 14 OLED? 
yes, there's a lot of things that I like about this laptop. The display especially is just out of this world. Nothing like I've ever used on any other laptop. And the design is good, the build quality is good, the laptop looks good, has a good keyboard, good trackpad, good performance, and you know, overall, it's a really solid laptop. But there is a bunch of things that I don't like. Not having a you know, full-size SD card slot still bugs me. ASUS, this is a laptop that you gear towards pro creators. There's a pro tag in the laptop's name and you don't have a full-size SD card slot. There's still you know, space left on this side of the laptop. So yeah, that's a huge deal breaker for me. And also there could have been slightly latest specs on this laptop, like a PCI Gen 4 SSD, maybe DDR5 RAM. You could also include a HDMI 2.0 port. And why do we have USB 2.0 ports in 2022? Still a question mark in my head. And Bluetooth 5.0 could be Bluetooth 5.2. Just some you know small things that I'm nitpicking about. But yes, this is a laptop on the higher end. 89,900 is kind of expensive. So we do expect a lot of things on that price. But again, overall, if those things don't bug you, if those are not a deal breaker for you, you can buy this laptop. This is available in a bunch of configurations, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, no GPU, with GPU. So I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out. And if you do, decide to buy them do buy them from my links it does help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos and if you like this video if you enjoyed and found this helpful subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads but with that being said my name has been yusuf you guys have been awesome stay awesome keep smiling and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been